But what does the tube of toothpaste and your hot end have in common? Once it extrudes, you aren't getting it back in. No matter how hard you try, retraction doesn't work that way. When we stop squeezing the tube of toothpaste, there is no more pressure forcing the toothpaste out. In 3D printing, we take the pressure off of our filament through retraction, backing the filament up the hot end instead of down while the print head moves to its next position. We just need to figure out how, how far to retract. Now, this is a cross section of a hot end. When the filament gets down to the nozzle area, it softens, becomes somewhat molten. When we retract, if we come too far up into the area of the heat break, well, that filament can cool and clog your nozzle. If we don't retract far enough, you're pretty much just stretching the filament and it can drip down onto your print as the print head moves. We need to find that sweet spot, and we'll do that by printing a retraction tower. This will help eliminate the stringing and take your prints to an amazing level. So let's work on getting a retraction tower and get your printer pushing plastic. Okay, so inside the Cura, if you don't already have the calibration shapes load it up, you're gonna go, go ahead and do that. Do that by coming up to Marketplace here in the upper right hand corner, clicking, and we're gonna scroll on down until we come to Calibration Shapes. And you'll click Install. I already have these installed, but you'll just click the Install button, accept the terms, and then you'll have to go ahead and restart Cura. After restarting, you'll come up to Extensions, part for calibration and what we're going to do is come down and we're going to add a retract tower and boom there it is center screen in all its glory just waiting to solve your stringing problems you can see it's numbered one through five five sections uh, we're going to go ahead and slice this up and see what's going on behind the scenes where our layer changes are so we'll hit preview and we're gonna come down and see how much for the base. And there's four, four for the base. Now we're gonna check that first one. And looks like 42. So that's 38 layers. I'm betting the next one should be at 80 layers. And there it is. Every 38 layers, we're going to have a change. So we're going back to prepare, and we're gonna make sure that we're set at 0.2 for our layer height, 0.2 for the initial layer height as well. And we're gonna come back up here to extensions, and we're gonna go ahead and hit post-processing and modify G-code. What we want to do now is add a script. So we'll click that button. We're going to come down, and we're going to click on Retract Tower. Over here for the command, we're gonna change that from speed to distance. Distance is more important than getting rid of the stringing than speed. Speed is important, but distance does a lot more. So we'll change that to distance, and we're gonna set our starting value to one for one millimeter. That's how much we're gonna retract in the beginning. And our value increment is also gonna be one because there's five sections. So we're gonna change one through five. Our change layer is set at 38. We're good to go there. Our change layer offset is four. Remember we looked at the base and that was four layers. So we're gonna start every 30, 38 layers after the base. You can leave the display details on LCD if you check if you want. It doesn't work with all firmware. It's your choice. I usually don't bother with it, but I'll leave it on for now. So we'll close that up. We already have our layers set, and we're gonna go ahead and we will slice. 44 minutes, not bad at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my miscellaneous tower, and I'm going to call this retract. We'll save that. 
The next thing we'll want to do is come back in here where this red number one is, and we're going to click that. And we're going to get rid of the script. Otherwise, it'll run through this sequence every time on every print you do. So let's just get rid of that. Close that out. And let's go print our retraction tower and see how we do. I better clean this up before my wife finds out. You know what can happen there. So we printed off our retraction tower. Looking at the results here, I'm seeing some stringing on levels one, a little less on level two. Three and four don't look too bad. Five doesn't look all that bad. There's a little bit of the stuff going on there. Not much. But I'm going to go with three. It's the first level without any extra artifacts. So in my profile, I'm going to go ahead and enter three millimeters as my retraction distance. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, let me know down below in the comments and tell a friend. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash the bell, be your own hero, live your life one layer at a time. Where's the toothpaste? I have to get ready for work. And please. Don't forget to subscribe.